Hi, this is Cindy Shevley from the Web Seller Circle. Although not available on every category yet, eBay does offer multiple variations. So let's say you have a t-shirt, for example. You could offer the same listing with several different colors. In this sample, you'll see that they have three different choice selections for the one product. This is great. It means fewer listing fees and your customer can find all of your products or different variations all in one listing. Easy for your customer, great on your pocketbook. So let me show you how it's done. Of course, to sell an item, you need to log into your account and you have to find a fixed price listing that has the variations. In this one, it's in Home and Garden's Love Seat. And you'll notice when there is a variation available for a fixed price, you will get a pop-up box saying, do you want the multiple variation? And I'm going to click yes and continue. Now you can see there are already some presets here, style, type, material. I'm just going to do color and type in the different uh, color variations. However, you can do material, brand, type, anything that you need. In fact, if there isn't one already available, you can add your own variation. With this sofa, I have four different colors, and once I have the four colors put in, I'm just going to click Continue. Now here are the pre-filled item specifics. Answers, many of them as you know. And of course, if you need to make your own specific, you can click that Add Your Own Specific and create it for your product. If you don't have information, you can just click Remove. and then click Continue. This is where you're going to set up your SKU number or create the variation numbers so that you can figure out which item the customer is ordering. So Create Variations makes variations based on the name that you typed in and the color. Now, this is a custom label and eBay is just making a suggestion here. If you don't like it, you can certainly make your own SKU number, especially if the manufacturer has provided one for you. So I'm just going to type in the SKU number here. When I'm done, I'll click Continue. Next comes the pictures. Now the shared picture is the gallery photo that is shown on the outside of the listing and the main default one that's shown when people click into the listing up there on the top. I'm just going to browse my computer and grab it. For this listing, I actually made a special gallery photo with a little verbiage around it so people know that there are different variations. And now you can add a color choice, a picture of each color. And these pictures, unlike the extra pictures that you get charged 15 cents for, the variation pictures are free. So go ahead, if you have the pictures of the different colors or the different variations, go ahead and upload them. You can see as I'm uploading them, the thumbnails are showing up, and this is what your customer will see. Once you have them all listed, just click Continue to make it to the next page. Now we enter the quantity we have available for each item and the fixed price. Now, do note here that this does not have to be a uniform price. Each one of these items could be differently priced, and of course you may have different quantities available for each variation as well. And you are allowed to put in a unique number in each one of these sections. For this listing, it's all the same price, and we're going to start off with the same inventory quantity numbers. Just click Save. Here we're brought to the good old sell your item form. You could see that the variations are already filled in for you. So now it's more like a regular listing. And I've got the title put on a notepad, so I'm just going to cut and paste it in here and put the title in. And 
And unlike the item specifics you fill in your sell your item form, they're already filled in for you. Add the pictures are already there. And of course you can do the standard or the HTML. I'm a HTML person, so I have it all on my notepad ready to go. So I'm just going to copy and paste it into my description. And we're good, good to go. Now this is a fixed price listing and those prices are carried over from when we build them in, the quantity as well. Now I can choose the duration. I'm going to choose the good tell canceled one. And we determined that the cost for these sofas, we were going to charge a flat rate of $245 per item. Just fill that in. And all your buyer terms need to be filled in as well. And when you have it all done, click continue. Just like the regular sell your item form, this brings you to the review your listing page where you can review it and edit it and make any changes you need to the listing before you list the item. And you get your confirmation page that the item has been listed. Let's take a really quick look. Click on it. And there is the gallery photo and the little thumbnails below match each color. You can grab the main color and when somebody orders it, that picture will pop up. This is Cindy Shabley from the Web Seller Circle. I hope you found this tip useful. See you there.